Kitty with Plaid Elephant Workouts and today we are going to do a core workout 15 minutes or less and it's going to be entirely standing. So what I have ready is my chair and I also have two weights on the chair. Most likely you probably will only want to use one but you can have the option to use two if you want. We're gonna do a quick warm up and that involves doing some side to side steps. So make sure that your chair or whatever you're going to use for some support is not in your way. But we're gonna take a step out into a side lunge, bring that leg in and then out, back in. Get this started, get your workout in, and then you can have the rest of your day to do all the busy things that you need to do. You're gonna do three more this way. And two. And one. Hold center. Bring your arms up and you can just pull your elbows down side to side. So it's down, down. And one more each way. And then go ahead and bring the arms down. Side lunge out to the other side. So give it a nice big step, and step, and then out, four more, and two, and one. We're gonna go back to those side bends, but you're gonna take one arm up this time, leaving one down, and then reach, reach, looking up to your hand, two and one all right give me eight squats in center and two we'll finish with that other arm side bend reach and then we will completely get started down for three two and one reach that other arm up and we side bend look up as you come up look up and up, last three, and two, and one. All right, so the first thing we're going to do for our standing core work is you're gonna just lift the knees nice and high, keeping your upper body nice and straight. So we want that back straight. We're working the lower abs on this one. Lift, lift. And you're gonna go another five seconds for this one. Up, up. Again, keeping that back nice and straight, really getting those knees up there. And one more, and down, good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is you're gonna do a standing bird dog. So bring both arms up, now. Bending opposite to opposite side. So you're gonna bring it in, reach up, up. Elbow comes down towards the opposite knee, but we're not twisting on this one. So you're keeping everything looking forward. Up. Two. And one. All right, bring both arms down. Reset, and opposite side, both arms up. Think about pulling that elbow down as you bring the knee up. And I like the reach with both arms because we continue to work the arms and shoulders. Last two, and one, all right. So notice you got the knees up on both of those two exercises. We're gonna combine everything doing one more half set. So first thing is we're gonna lift the knees up, up, up. Arms stay down on this one. And one more each side and down. Now we bring the arms back up and we'll alternate your sides this time. So get the brain working for this one. We bring it down and switch. 
elbow comes down, knee comes up, switch. And I like having the chair nearby in case that balance feels off. And then you can always go to that chair if you need to. One more. And everything down. All right. Go ahead and grab one of your weights to start. So we're going to use just one of the first round on the next move. Going for a wood chop first. All right. So grab the weight with both hands. Bring the arm up towards your shoulder and then down. So you have a little bit of a twist in this one. So it's up, down, up, and down. You can add a little swing into it. Up, and up. Twisting towards your opposite knee. And two more. Up, and up. All right, and then take it down. All right, I'm gonna add in the other side. So feet nice and in place. Bring it up to the shoulders. Twist and take it down. Down. My legs are completely straight here. And you really feel this in the obliques really fast. Three more. Two. And one. Good. Whew, I'm warm. Grab your other weight. Okay, so now you're gonna combine adding in a little leg work that I'm sneaking in for you today. Weights down by your sides. Take it down into a lunge. Lift that weight, same arm, and twist over. And then back up. Alright, let's try the other side. So you step back into your lunge, lift the weight up to the shoulder of your back leg, and cross. Nice, good challenge on this one. Take it back, lift, chop across, and up. Lunge back, up to the shoulder, cross, and up. So you can always take the weights out of this equation if you wanted to, and just try it without. Then you're getting that lunge in, still getting a twist, back up. Make sure you side view, down, chop across, and up down, up, cross, and up, up, and up, other side, weight up, cross, and up, one more each way, back, cross, and up, back into your lunge, lift to shoulder, cross, and up, all right, great job on that one, now, you actually get to come down to the chair. So have a seat and hopefully you have a chair that's either hard like mine or a kitchen chair works good as well. Have a seat and I'm gonna sit side so you can see me here. You're gonna sit about halfway down on your chair. Bring the weights right up to your shoulder. So. Rather than come down to the floor for your crunch, you get a seated crunch in this one. So shoulders, lift from the weights from your shoulders, lean forward, weights come down, lean up. Don't pick up your weights till they actually come up to the shoulders. So your core has to help you on this one to bring it back up. So go ahead and take it down. Weights come up to your shoulders. So we lift up, take it down, weights come down, roll up, then lift your weights. So roll forward, weights come down, lift and up, roll forward, down, lift, bring those weights up. Two more, down, weights down, lift, up to shoulders, and down up and up to your shoulders. All right, great job. Let's put those weights to the side and then we're gonna come back to standing. 
The last thing you're gonna do is some standing leg raises coming to the front. If you need a chair for stability, you can do that. Otherwise, you're gonna just lift the legs and up, up, up. Getting a good stretch on the hamstrings as well here. Up. And I need it, my legs are tight. Up, lift, keeping your upper body straight, shoulders pulled back. You can always take your hands to your hips. Up. And last four, three, two, and one. All right, hopefully you were kicking me real hard there. If not, back it up and repeat it again. Okay, all right. So arm comes up, bring your hand either to your wall or to your chair and just recover and stretch. By now that heart rate got up from that one. So feeling good. And to completely stretch out, we're gonna do some ba very basic stretch, a very basic stretch. So bring the arms up, roll forward, a little bend in the legs if you need to. Drop your hands towards the floor. Think about your body completely, almost trying to fold in half. And then slowly roll up. And then again, up. Palms face inside, roll down. Slowly roll up, pulling your abdominals in as you come up. And do two more. Take it down. Slowly roll up. And last one, take it forward. Slower this time, take it up at 10. Eight, six, slow it down. Three, two, as you take it completely up. So great job. If you want to repeat that, you can always do that one again. And you get a nice standing workout. Upcoming soon is going to be a floor abdominal, so keep your eyes open and you'll be able to try that one as well. Have a good one.